Hey, it's Eric Hartman with the Croydoremia Research Foundation. We are here at ARVO, the Association for Research and Vision and Ophthalmology. It's the largest gathering of researchers for ophthalmology, over 17,000 people. And we are here with a rock star, Dr. Jean Bennett. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo <-hoo. laughs> Dr. Bennett uh, has been with our foundation and supporting us actually since before we were formed because she had a relationship with one young uh, gentleman who later became a doctor and then became one of our presidents, Chris Moen. Mm -hmm. So you have a long history with choroideremia. I so certainly do. And you are now uh, work, stepping away from being the, one of the, t the, the administrative heads there at UPenn and you are now emeritus. Why don't you tell us where, what you're up to? I am on the, on the pro, in the process of retiring, which is, has been a long process. I've been trying to pave the way for junior faculty members to set up their careers and to take over and, mm -hmm. and bring new thoughts and blood to the whole retinal degeneration uh, scientific and translational forefront. And... Um, so I'm cleaning out my office and lab to make way for this next new generation, but I'm still involved and committed, and particularly to choroideremia. This is such an important target, and I think there are still things that we can do to try to help people with the disease. And I am serving on boards and scientific advisory committees and carrying out a small amount of research on my own and having fun. So now you're doing it whatever you want versus what might be directed to you. So that's exactly. Great. exactly. And that well, you, and you were talking about the mentoring of um, of young researchers, and that's been one of the amazing things for our foundation. As we've grown, we've seen the need for that. But every time we encounter a new researcher and talk to them about their history, many of them will have tied back and have worked with you yeah. or your husband in, in, in your research. And I think that's a, that's a huge gift to the industry that, that the, the amazing forefronts that you guys have been able to cross um, and, and that knowledge is being passed to the next generation, which it's, is incredible. Oh important. gosh, no, it's so meaningful to me and to my husband. Um, we feel like it's a big family. And in fact, I'm at the point now where my graduate students and postdocs have sent their children to my lab to work. Wow. Well, that's just like, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> well, that's, that's amazing. Well, again, we want to thank you. And uh, we know that you, you, you still know that CHM and the CRF will be following you. And we, <laughs> we love your, your inspiration and your continued involvement in CHM research. I'm so, there. <laughs> so thank you very much. And I need a hug. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, that's it for this update from the Arvo Convention here in New Orleans. More later.